Hi everyone, this is Carrie Tatsu, and I'm going to give a video tutorial for the Zubi Animesh Baby Closet and Clothing Meshes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add meshes to your closet, how to dress your baby, and how to apply textures to that clothing. So, um, I have the closet door opened. The door opens and closes. The first thing you see is a onesie. The onesie comes free with the closet. Additional clothing meshes are sold separately. So if I click this box, right here. I can add romper tights and blouse outfit to this closet. I click it, it says search for closets. I click search and it looks for a nearby closet and it will allow me to add that mesh outfit to the closet. I can do the same for the sleeper. Search, add to closet. Same for the bow. Search, add to closet and the slippers. I can also click where and where will put the clothing item directly on the baby, but we're not going to do that right now. The other thing is that every clothing mesh has a land impact. So you can determine how much land impact your baby has depending on how much you dress it. So for example, this bow adds four land impact to your baby, but this whole entire outfit adds 32 land impact to your baby. So that's just something to be aware of. That's the way Animesh is built. Okay, so right now, if I click these arrow buttons, you'll see all the meshes are loaded into my closet. I'm gonna delete these boxes now. I suggest saving them in your inventory um, just in case you delete your closet and you want to reload boxes. However, if you do accidentally delete your closet and you delete everything, you, these are all copyable and you can um, uh, get them back if you go back to the Zuby Sim. So I'm going to delete these. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click this icon. It's an important icon and it's used to call all babies anywhere to use anything. So I click the icon and this icon searches for my baby. So my baby's name is Sean. And Sean gets up and he crawls to the closet and he, in a moment he is going to stand up. So here he is, he's going to stand up. So at this point I can pick one of these and I click it and the mesh automatically is on Sean. Now the texture HUD is I use this button and I connected the texture HUD to Sean as well. So if I go to full body and I select sleepers, I can apply a texture to this mesh. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So right now I can put slippers on or here, wait, I'll do this. I'll put a bow on. There's the bow. I click hats. Now if you look, the bow automatically has a texture on it. Now the reason it does is that previously when I was playing with the baby, I had applied a texture. And the nice thing is when you apply um, textures, the database remembers the previous texture you applied. So I can go here and I can apply a different texture. I can also buy a texture if I want to. Down here we have Zuby Affiliates Purchased and For Sale. These are filters that allow you to see what is currently for sale and what you've already purchased. So if I don't display for sale and I only show purchased, it will only show the meshes I purchased. So this is an easier way to sort of clean up and not be inundated with a bunch of um, images that you're not going to use. So we'll go back here. I'll put the zigzag bow on. The other nice thing about this is that at any point I can remove clothing. So if I click remove and I click bow, the bow is removed. If I click remove and I click sleeper, the sleeper is removed and the baby goes back to its default um, outfit. Now I just place this outfit on. Now again, if you see, this is textured and these items are not. That's because I had applied a texture previously to the romper. Now if I want to add a blouse, I click tops and blouses. And at this point, I should be able to add a blouse. Actually, I should be able to texture a blouse. And if I go to bottoms, 
and select tights. You can see here um, the texture HUD is connected to Sean. If I close my closet, the baby stops and leaves. That's it. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.